Subject of Jazz was the first uh, educational uh, series. It was a 13-week series, and it was produced here in New York uh, by National Educational Television. It was the first one they did. Uh, I was really excited about it because uh, uh, it was the first serious look at jazz that television had done in this context that was meant to show people um, on a Saturday, instead of looking at football, you can look at, at something uh, uh, that has to do with uh, America's classical music. When I was mentioning the various ways that jazz musicians earn their living, follow their profession, I omitted one, and that is being a freelance, a pretty chancy way. In Jimmy Cleveland's case, freelancing means, however, working almost all the time, but with different groups and at different jobs. And is that harder, is that harder, Jimmy, than working with one group steadily? No, I find it more of a pleasure, uh, especially in the case when, uh, of a jazz musician that's trying to reach his potential. Uh, it gives you more of an opportunity to uh, develop your talent by working with different different uh, group organizations, different bands. It keeps you on your toes also, I should say. That's right. I want to ask you a thing that I've heard at times. Is playing with a large band less interesting, more interesting uh, than playing with different small combinations? Well, I don't think we could say that it would be uh, uh, less inter interesting in any in the sense of the word, because uh, if you love music, everything is of, of vital importance and it's an interest there. Try it here. The number that's going to feature Jimmy Cleveland and his trombone is simply called Posterity. <laughs>